All right, what's going on, Android lovers? This is Clayton over at AndroidAuthority.com, and today we're going to be showing you the Android 2.3 Gingerbread Operating System head-to-head -head with the Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich Operating System. Now, a lot of you guys know that the Ice Cream Sandwich Operating System um, is available on the Galaxy Nexus, and they're pushing it out to a lot of phones recently. Now, I know some of you guys are still waiting, and because of that, the majority of you are running on Android 2.3 Gingerbread like this Samsung Galaxy S. So I'm just going to show you the basic um, rundown on these two operating systems and put them head-to-head -head against each other. First off, you're going to notice that the uh, user interface on each of these is extremely different. Now, the very first thing that stands out is that the fonts on Ice Cream Sandwich are in a font called Roboto. Now, this is something new that Google has pushed out to the Android 4.0 operating system, and it looks really nice. Um, mind you, I am using a a separate home launcher for the gingerbread operating system here. I'm using ADW launcher because the TouchWiz or the Moto Blur or the HTC Sense are all going to be um, the manufacturer's own variant on Android 2.3. And since we're pitting it against a vanilla version of Android 4.0, we're going to be using the ADW launcher in order to, uh, you know, get a fair comparison. Now, first off, we'll just uh, scroll through our tabs here. As you can see, they're both pretty smooth, but the Android uh, Ice Cream Sandwich has a few more uh, fancy transitions. Now, that is because I'm running Apex Launcher, but I have not changed the transitions whatsoever from the stock Android 4.0. Um, you can see down here we have capacitive buttons on the Samsung Fascinate. So with Android 4.0, Google was going with a more on-screen approach to soft keys. Now, uh, they both work just about as fast, with the Android 4.0 being a little bit ahead. Now, I don't have these devices bloated up with anything whatsoever, so uh, I just thought I would do that to give you guys a good comparison. Anyways, I'll compare our drop-down menus here. You can see that on Android 4.0, um, we have the option of disabling or hiding our toggles here, and we have a whole row up here, where on the gingerbread, we have this row up here, and... Uh, they're kind of just obtrusive. They're, they're not as uh, sexy as the ice cream sandwich toggles. Okay, so I'm downloading an application to each of these phones just so I can show you guys the difference in the notification bar when we're actually downloading an application. Now, I don't want it to happen too fast because I want it to actually get a good view of what the notification bar looks like when we have that. So anyways, this is the difference in our status bar, our pull-down status bar. Now you see right here that on the status bar for the Android 3.2, you cannot click and swipe away to remove notifications. You can only click and open the notification. But here on Android 4.0, we just slide to the left or right to remove those. And the same with our task managers. Now what we would do to kill process, to kill apps that are running is open up our task manager on Android 4.0 by pressing our open windows button. And we can just swipe left to right to remove them. Now on the Samsung Fascinate, running Android 3.2, we would have to download a third-party um, applications manager. And with that, it would also kill our uh, home app. See, this does not count home launchers as apps that are running to kill. But here, if I were to press X, it would kill our ADW launcher EX. Okay, so next to compare are our widgets, our folders, and our multitasking functionality. So if I go to the left here, I have added a calendar widget on each of my phones here. Now, as you can see, the calendar has been completely redesigned for a nice, clean user interface on the Android 4.0, and it has the old gingerbread uh, design here on the Android gingerbread operating system. Now, I have the same exact item on each of them. It's both Tuesday, April 4, but you can see that it's a nice minimalist design over here, and it's kind of a you know gaudy design here on the Android 3.2. Now, the functionality with replacement home launchers is the ability to resize widgets. So, I can edit here, and I can actually make this bigger, or smaller, or wider. And I can also do the same here on the ice cream sandwich. And I'll just go ahead and make that an entire page. And I'll make this one an entire page. So, they both don't look terrible. But you can see that the user interface and the redesigned, uh, perfectly clean Android experience here on the Android 4.0 is a little bit nicer. And it's definitely improved. So next on our list is the ability to add folders. Now, with the Apex launcher I'm running here, we can uh, create a folder right from uh, the home screen by dragging an item. So I'll drag Chrome Beta, and I'll drag the clock. And you just hover over another icon, and it creates a folder. Once you open the folder, you can name it whatever you want. Just click folder, and you can choose new folder, and it's right up there 
and you can bring browser over to the new folder and books over to the new folder. So now we have browser and books folder, but it's definitely not as nice looking as the Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Um, it's kind of obtrusive. It's just a bland little, uh, you know, folder right there. And this is this nice clean user interface that we have going on with the Android ice cream sandwich. All right. So next I'll just go through the display of the settings menus on each of the operating systems. As you can see on the Wi-Fi for the Galaxy Nexus uh, Android 4.0, it's different than the Samsung Fascinate, which aggregated it into a bunch of different wireless and network settings. Now uh, we'll go back to the wireless and network here on the Fascinate and see that that's where you'll access your airplane mode and your mobile networks. And opposed on the Android 4.0, your mobile network and data is actually monitored and you can put a cap on it and you can kill background data. So here it can show you everything that's consuming your data, how much you have consumed, as well as the uh, warning limit there. And you can set a data limit here. And when you do that, you can choose as I said previously, to restrict the background data on applications. So you can restrict background data for the Google Play or anything else that's consuming your mobile data. Going back, we will go to the sound settings on the uh, Android Gingerbread operating system as well as on the 4.0, and you can see that there's uh, somewhat significant differences. And on the 4.0, we can disable dial pad, touch tones, and vibrate on touch, which is the same as haptic feedback for your Android Gingerbread where we can actually change our vibration intensity and the audible selection as well as audible touch tones. Okay, next we'll go to our storage options and on the Android Gingerbread is the SD card and phone storage and on the Android 4.0 it'll show you a breakdown of everything. We'll go to the language and input and language and keyboard where here you can choose your default keyboards on both of them, but it's a different uh, setup and user interface. Next we'll go to our uh, settings about phone menu, where you can see we're running 4.0.4, and you can see on the Gingerbread we're running firmware version 2.3.5. So next we'll go into some of the developer options included in Android 4.0 that are lacking on Android Gingerbread. So you can choose what uh, gets root access as well as uh, mock locations, a couple other stuff like uh, show touches and that shows you where your finger is actually touching on the screen. You can show the screen updates just in case you have any dead pixels. You can show the uh, CPU usage which shows it up there in the top right corner. You can force GPU rendering for 2D hardware acceleration. You can also choose to kill apps via your back button. And uh, that's basically it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the review, and if you did, check out more from AndroidAuthority.com.